How's it going everybody? It's Billy from the Terrible 5 here, and welcome to the first ever tutorial on our second channel, the Terrible 5 2. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a basic muzzle flash. Now a lot of people wanted to see how I did my particular muzzle flashes, but after you watch this tutorial, then go out and watch other people's tutorials and see how they did it as well, uh, just so you can get a feel for muzzle flashes in general. In the link in the description below, there is a download of, this, of a smoke element, the footage I used in this tutorial, and even um, a muzzle flash that you guys can use. So let's get started with the tutorial. So as you can see, I've already dragged my footage in, imported all my elements, and I've made a new comp with it. And we have our actor shooting. So what we're going to want to do is do, uh, we're going to go to the frame right before the slide kicks back on the gun. So right there. And then we're going to bring in charge 29 from the action essentials pack. Put that right on top of the footage. And then we're just going to drag through it and find a frame that looks good. Like right there. And we're going to hit alt begin bracket and alt end bracket, which will make a one frame long thing. And that'll create our muzzle flash. Now we're going to select the rotation tool, rotate it just a little bit, whatever you guys think looks good. We're going to place it where our gun is. Then maybe we can scale it up because your muzzle flash should be just about the same size as your gun. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now we're going to add a fast blur to our muzzle flash. So go over to your effects and presets and type in fast blur and then drop it on top of your footage. Turn up the blurriness to about five or six. As you can see, that got rid of some of the hard edges here on the muzzle flash and made it look a lot softer. And then don't forget to click repeat edge pixels. With the muzzle flash selected, hit command CV, which will duplicate it. That looks pretty crappy, but we're gonna fix that. We're going to go over to your effects and presets and type in Gaussian Blur, which is G-A-U, and it should come up, Gaussian Blur. And we're going to add our Gaussian, and we're going to turn up the blurriness to about 3. It is it added a hazy look around our muzzle flash, which, you, which you'll see in a lot of movies if you go frame by frame. But that, um, that makes it look a lot more realistic and makes it blend more with the shot. And now the final step is we're going to set both of the blending modes of these to add. And there you go. Add gives it, gives it its own personal glow. It makes it look a lot more realistic. Now we're going to add in our smoke. Just take the smoke element and drag it under the muzzle flash and drop it in. Cut off the first frame and set the blending mode to screen, which will get rid of the black behind it then just place it behind your muzzle flash and scale it up. Okay, so that looks pretty good. It has smoke. It's got the muzzle flash. It's got some glow from the muzzle flash. But it's missing one thing. It's missing glow on the actor's face, hands, and maybe some on this back wall here. So in order to make that, we're going to go forward one frame and hit Alt and Bracket which will make a two frame sliver of footage on top of the main footage. We're going to set its blending mode to add, which will give it its own personal glow. Then select the masking tool and mask around the actor's face. These masks don't have to be perfect, they just have to be um, they just have to be in the right places. So just make a rough mask around the actor's hands and arms and his face. And then a little bit on this back wall. And we're going to shut off our lines. And then we're going to hit MF for this two frame sliver of footage, which will bring up all the mask feather properties. And then we're just going to feather each one of them out to a place where it looks good. So about right there. And as you can see, by feathering it, it makes it look a lot softer and it gets rid of the hard edges that were there before. And then on the wall, feather that one out the most. So it looks the least noticeable. And now the final thing 
is we're going to animate the opacity of this glow on the actor's face and body. So we're going to hit T for opacity, set a keyframe for the first frame, which should be at 100, go to the second frame, and hit 50. And as you can see, that makes it start off, the glow starts off at full, goes to half, and then it's all the way gone by the third frame. So we have this two frame burst of glow on the actor. And that's it, that's the muzzle flash. Let's see how this looks. That looks pretty good. All right, so thanks for watching everybody. If you found this tutorial helpful, then please click subscribe. And don't forget to stay tuned for other tutorials coming out soon and go in the comments below. And if you have a request for a tutorial, request one and I'll make it for you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.